Hello, I'm going to show you guys how to use AI, also known as artificial intelligence, in your Adobe Photoshop. So all the newest versions now of Adobe Photoshop from the Creative Cloud have this type of AI where you can basically ask Photoshop to put something in there. And um, I'm using Adobe Photoshop beta, but you don't have to use the beta. Beta is simply just stuff that they're testing out and it's, it's never like perfect. And so I'm using beta, but honestly, this, this type of generative fill is in the latest versions of Adobe Photoshop. So let me show you how to use it, okay? Um, I have here, you need to have a photo to work with. So I have here a, a photo of a, a road here and some cars. And I actually went and, um, and I made this, uh, I, I kind of straightened it out a little bit. I already did some form of generative fill on it, which is actually pretty cool. But let's duplicate the background. I just always like to have another layer of the background. You don't really need to when you're doing generative fills. And then what you're going to need is you're going to need this uh, rectangular marquee tool. Now, if you don't see uh, this tool right here, there's a couple of ways you can go about it. You can go up to window workspace and go to photography like that, and it should pop up there. Uh, and you can also hit these little three little dots right here, hold down, and you can probably find it right in there. But for now, now you can also hold down, you might see this, the the actual elliptical marquee tool. You can use that as well if you want to, but I'm gonna use this rectangular marquee tool. So for this photo here, I'm going to put a T-Rex in the road. Now, how is this going to render? How big is the size gonna be correct? I don't know. So I'm just gonna see what comes up. I'm gonna put this like this, like that. I don't know how big the T-Rex should be, but let's just go like that. And from here, I'm going to right click in this little selection, okay? Now, when I right click, I should see generative fill, okay? You have to make sure that right click on your mouse is enabled. I, I am on a Mac. So I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna click the generative fill. Now, if you don't, if you don't see generative fill come up, then what you need to do is go to your creative cloud and go to updates and basically update all so that your Photoshop updates. But before you can update, you need to close out a Photoshop. So let me show you what that would look like, okay? Um, I would close out and right here on Photoshop, I would right click and go quit. If I don't right click and go click, if I don't uh, click on the quit for Photoshop, I will not be able to push update on Photoshop in here on the Creative Cloud. So make sure that there's no little dot next to Photoshop when you're trying to update it. So let me go back in here. Once you do have it, you can reopen up Photoshop. And so I'm going to right click on this little selection here, go to generative fill, and I'm going to put in T-Rex, okay? I have no idea what's going to populate but right there put enter and it's uh populating and we'll see if we get some kind of cool interesting t-rex now when you do this as of right now you're going to have three different versions of the t-rex and i have to say this looks pretty good i kind of like and you can click on whichever one now notice that it actually tried to render it with similar light that's good I might make it a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just delete that, that layer and I'm going to basically do it again, but I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. So it looks that much more believable. So again, right click. So that's why I've noticed for myself is I ended up doing a lot of, um, uh, a lot of, uh, kind of renders in this. So with this artificial intelligence there in Photoshop, you never know what you're going to get. So again, it will show you three different versions of it. And then if you like one of them, I think that one looks pretty good. You can use that. 
and just keep that. And then what you can do is if you want all the layers, you can go file, save a copy, and save it as a Photoshop file. I like to put something right in the beginning there, T-Rex. And then you can save it. And then if you're going to save it for online, you can save a JPEG right here. File, save a copy, JPEG that, and you're golden. So that's how you use the AI in Photoshop. I hope that was helpful.